My colleagues and I are happy to announce a new dinosaur that has come from the southwestern part of Utah in Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument. This dinosaur's name is Lythronax argestes. Literally, this means gore king from the southwest. The rocks that have produced this fossil are actually 80 million years old. So we know that this animal represents one of the earliest members of tyrannosaurs here in North America. This family includes the very famous animal Tyrannosaurus rex. T-Rex being the ultimate largest predator that ever lived and one of the final dinosaurs that was alive here in North America before their extinction. 80 million years ago, North America looked very different from today. Um, it was split by a seaway that ran from the Arctic Ocean to the Gulf of Mexico. And Utah and other western states would have been on the west coast of that seaway as beachfront property. And this western half of North America was called Laramidia. Um, so it was really an island continent separated from all other major land masses at the time. And as a result, we had a really unique ecosystem and environment in, on Laramidia between about 80 and 70 million years ago. Lush lowland forests, not unlike what you see in the Louisiana bayous today, teeming with all sorts of different life, really warm and humid. Um, there wouldn't have been much of a winter. And uh, all the dinosaurs were very different because they'd been isolated on this island continent and evolved separately from uh, dinosaurs in eastern North America, Asia, and other places. And we're already seeing clues about some of the special things that T-Rex has that makes it adapted to be such a giant predator. We have a wide back of the skull, long menacing teeth, a relatively short front of the snout, and a narrow snout. So you would have had a very strong skull with the wide back of the skull allowing pressures from twisting of the skull as it's attacking prey. In addition, the wide back of the skull would have allowed this animal to have overlapping field of vision, which allows it to see in three dimensions. This is a characteristic we see in modern predators like owls and eagles and many of the cats. This animal, the top predator in its ecosystem, would have weighed about two and a half tons and been 24 to 25 feet long. An animal like this is not going to have to worry about predators messing with it. It's the top predator in its ecosystem. So after these bones were prepared, that is all the rock was removed from them, we set about trying to figure out exactly what type of tyrannosaur we had. Was it a new species? Was it a pre-existing species that was already known to science? And to figure that out, we looked at the bones that we had, like these that are here in front of me, and looked at various different specific features. So whether there was a bump or a groove in a certain place on different bones. And those features tell us how these bones are similar to or different from other tyrannosaur species. And after comparing with uh, dozens of different species of dinosaurs that were already known and, and hundreds of specimens, we were able to determine that this skeleton does in fact have a number of different features that are different from any other tyrannosaur found, telling us that it is a new species not previously known to science. It turns out the oldest tyrannosaurid is most closely related to the youngest tyrannosaurid. And um, that was exciting finding because it demonstrated that most of the branches of the tyrannosaurid family tree must have uh, have existed by about 80 million years ago. So there's a huge diversity of tyrannosaur species waiting to be found out there that we don't yet know about.